And there's a lot of interesting stuff that's come out of that for me about how technology lies to you and 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 stuff like that. Uh, let me explain the problem. Basically, when I installed it, I I couldn't figure out why it was locked into HDR mode. And my monitor, you've probably seen this on some displays, you get this like sort of washed out image, it's really weird. And what that is, and this was a real stumbling block, and then what would happen is I'd switch off HDR in Steam, and then the next time I'd launch it on my system, it would black screen. And so I went through this massive process of actually stripping out the EDID data, which is what the, the, the screen advertises as its capabilities, back to Steam. I did everything and I couldn't get it to work. And I couldn't work out why. Why? My screen's not like HDR. I couldn't figure out what was going on. And then I sort of, I did, I worked it out what it was. I've got an Asus screen and what it does, it's what's called HDR capable. And when this was bought ages ago, I didn't even think about it. And what it means is that it goes up to 350 nits. Now, if you don't know what nits are, there are it has a thing in it called HDR10. Now, HDR10 isn't really HDR as such. It's a bit of a nonsense. It's a marketing term in many ways. It is, does exist. It is a standard, but it's not very good. It's not... Dolby Vision generates brightness on level by level by level, on scene by scene by scene. 